What is the best way you've seen a guy hit on a girl? I don't know if this is the best way per se, but I definitely had something random and very cool happen to me at a bar. Simply put, I was standing next to this really cute girl. I don't know if he saw her checking me out or something, but this guy comes up to us, makes eye contact with her, points at me and goes, man that's a really cool blazer don't you think? She gives me a once over and agrees. He gets his drink from the bar and leaves without saying another word. Instant attraction. Dancing and hooking up happen. Thank you random awesome wingman wherever you are. I never got the chance to say that. I once heard an old man say to a woman, back in my day, we'd have painted you on the side of an airplane. Shit, that's the smoothest thing I've ever heard. Old dude has better game than I do. Of course he does, he's experienced. Some buddies and I were at a bar just hanging out after work. There was a really pretty girl sitting at the bar with this guy next to her who was talking her ear off. I don't remember much about him, but he was wearing a baseball cap backwards. So one of us, we'll call him John, had just had a kind of depressing breakup and wanted to approach this girl, so we all get to talking about the best strategy. Someone, we'll call him Mark, suggests John slip her a note. What should it say? John asks. Someone, we'll call him Joe, says, this guy looks like a douche. I might be one too, but you'll never know unless you call me. Phone number. We all laugh, and John gets a napkin and starts writing. His handwriting looks like a little kid's, so we agree that the person with the best handwriting should write the note. I take the napkin and write it out, but John starts getting cold feet. He doesn't want to sit around awkwardly waiting to see if she calls or even reads the note. So we agree we'll all head for the door and he'll hang back a little and pass her the note before joining us on the walk to the subway. So we execute the plan, it goes perfectly. We see her check the note while backwards baseball cap is still chattering away, and she laughs and slips it in her pocket without saying a thing to the guy. She calls John before we're a block away. They date for a few weeks. Turns out she'd recently had a rough breakup, too, and it ends when they both kind of start feeling lick. It's getting too serious too soon, but I think they're still friends. I was at upscale bar for happy hour with an old friend catching up. It is a piano bar and everyone drinks martinis, not real martinis but apple and chocolate bullshit, and wine trying way too hard to be sophisticated. The piano is sitting empty before the hired player gets to work. This average looking guy wanders up to the vacant piano and starts singing and playing some Nora Jones-esque song, and he is Duke King amazing. Seriously good. He sees some woman singing along and he calls her up for a duet. She reluctantly agrees. He continues playing and she is totally into it. Some Jedi mind control shit is happening. Song ends, he gets a standing ovation, and walks off with the woman on his arm. They spent the next two hours at the corner of the bar drinking and talking and laughing and eventually left together. He was an average 6 at best, but she was a borderline 9. Under any other circumstances he would have likely struck out, but he nailed it. I don't know if it counts, but here's one. I went to college thousands of miles from home. First day in the dorm, I spent looking at the wall feeling sorry for myself. Second day, I went to a mall on the bus, but I hate malls, so I ended up in an arcade playing skip ball. Yes, I'm that old, for those that don't know it's a game where you win tickets, which you can then trade in for useless crap. The crap I got was a stuffed sheep, about the size of a small loaf of bread. I then go home and cry myself to sleep out of loneliness. Next day, I wake up, classes still hadn't started, and decide to meet people. On a whim, I take the stuffed sheep and tie a string to it. I went down to the common area, and sat down near a wall, and then threw the sheep out so it was just around the corner. First girl walks up and looks at the sheep and looks at me. I pull the string. She gets a funny look on her face and says, what are you doing? I said I'm fishing for friends. She just laughed and walked off. Second girl who comes by picks up the sheep and I pulled it out of her hands. She laughs and asks what I'm doing. I say I'm fishing for friends. She says you should just try talking to them I said what do you think we're doing? We went to lunch, dated for a while. It was awesome. Funniest thing though, I married the first girl. TLDR, all you need is an excuse to start talking. Edit, okay, so marrying the first girl is a story, novel? Epic? In itself, but alas, it has nothing to do with a sheep on a string. True that is the way we met, but we re-met as it were. Sorry if it looked like a great cliffhanger. I just look back with amusement thinking she was the first person I met when I left home.
like a him in plot. In other words, it ain't that I'm not delivering, it's that the pizza wasn't ordered. For what it's worth, the whole sheep on a string thing was a conversation starter for a long time. Most of the people I became friends with would tell that story or ask me about it. I did it on a whim, but I think it was just the right amount of crazy, you know, cute but not creepy. If I tried to tell all the stories that came about indirectly related to that damn sheep, you'd pretty much have to live three years of my life. Sorry. But thanks for the love, and the gold stranger smile. Once one of my friends walked up to a girl and casually asked would you like to fill out a survey? The girl accepted and he handed her his phone with a new contact screen open. Nice. My parents met when my mom was working at McDonald's in the drive through window. My dad pulled up and said, hey this isn't what I ordered. I ordered a Big Mac, a fry, and a date with you. Somehow that worked and here I am. The best part, now he gets to take her to McDonald's for their anniversary. Watched a guy fall down skiing on the steepest part of a run and he could not stop, skis, poles, hat and gloves go flying. As he is rolling and sliding I notice he's about to do a bowling ball slam into a girl standing at the bottom. He spreads out his arms and legs and manages to stop but lying face up, feet uphill and she is just looking down at him like WTF? He says I've been trying to meet you all day. Awesome, just awesome. At a swimming party during summer break, one girl didn't know how to swim, but my friend took her by the hands into the pool, and next thing, he was holding her in his arms, the smoothest, nicest way. All of us noticed that they made a natural couple, as if it were meant to be. It's perfect. If he ever loses interest all he needs to do is let go and she will drown. And she can't say no, because of the implication. One of my close friends and I were playing pool in our dorm commons when this knockout brunette sat down with a few of her friends. Me and my friend both noticed she was glancing at him but we continued to play pool. A half hour or so goes by and I asked him what he was doing the following day at 6, when I finished class, he turns and smiles at her before telling me whatever she is doing at 6. Her jaw dropped and she started giggling, they dated for nearly a year after that. It was the smoothest thing I have ever seen to date. Please tell me right after he said that he cracked a shot on the pool table and sunk all the remaining balls while making steady eye contact with her. Met a gorgeous girl early at the beginning of a night party. A few minutes before midnight, I saw her again. And she gave me a frustrated frown. Is something wrong? I asked. Last New Year's I didn't have anyone to kiss at midnight, and I was really hoping this year would be different. Guess not. I had been drinking, but not so much as to miss an opening like that. Took her in my arms and kissed her up to and through the countdown. At the time it all seemed very spontaneous. But later I learned she had been practicing that line for over an hour. Anyway, this August will be our 20th anniversary. My now husband had a bad reputation in college, the mutual friends through which we met called him woman poison because he was known for moving from lady to lady. Although I was interested in him, I only pursued serious relationships and turned him down for months. It wasn't that hard, since I lived two hours away and had a career to focus on. One weekend, I heard a knock on my door and on my doorstep was a book he and I had discussed the last time we saw each other. He had driven two hours, and was about to drive two hours back, just to leave me a physical copy of something we had talked about. It totally won me over, signifying that he was willing to put time into the relationship. We dated six years, have been married for four and have a one-year-old son. I got set up on a blind date. I'm in this bar slash music venue and it's been a very stressful week. I had just tried a jury trial, so I am ready to relax. I'm drinking a beer and talking to my friend who was supposed to introduce me to this girl when this chick leans over and shushes me. Turns out the bar was supposed to be a quiet, pay attention kind of music venue. My friend leans over after this and goes, that's the girl. The one who just shushed me. Whatever, she is really pretty. So I shushed. A little while later the music ended and we all headed to like a pool hall thing nearby. I was talking to the girl and wanted to compliment her good look slash her bone structure, which is really nice. Somehow my compliment got stuck halfway between one thing and the other and it came out as you have a nice skull. Totally worked. We started dating and I married her two weeks ago. She still makes fun of me for complimenting her skull, too. Can I offer you free yo-yo lessons? Years later, they're married with kids. I went to the movies on a day off, alone and I saw a drop-dead gorgeous, way out of my league, guy going in. 
I was a little high, and single, and I had snuck in Taco Bell, so I figured I'd try and share it with him, and strike up a conversation. So I went down, and sat a little bit too close for comfort. I said something about my taco, and took a drink of his pop without asking. It went great. He swears to this day he went out with me because of my eyes, and my inappropriateness. I'm still an oversharer, and he's still out of my league. We've been married for 17 years, and I have a huge crush on him. I once ran into a girl from my high school graduating class, 13 years after we graduated. When I said hi to her, I told her I didn't recognize you at first because I thought to myself I couldn't have gone to high school with that girl, she's too young. It made her day. I said this to a girl at my graduation and it didn't go over quite as well. Everyone on this thread is just the awkward person that was there. This is Reddit. What were you expecting? Had a few Brazilian friends when I was in high school. I was hanging out at the mall with one of them on a Sunday, just sitting at one of the tables at the edge of the food court. A few girls walked by together and he just stared at them, with a smirk. One of them looked his way, but they kept walking. He said in his broken English, just watch, she knows. Know what? I had no idea. He kept watching the girls. Half a minute later that girl looked over her shoulder and smiled at him. See, she knows. He keeps watching. A few more more moments, the girl laughs with her friends, leaves them and starts walking toward my friend. He gets up, meets her, they say a few things and start strolling them all together. Me being a nerdy white kid was in awe of my Brazilian brother. My buddy saw a girl standing alone at the bar and happened to notice she was wearing a Star of David necklace. He walks up to her and says, Hi, are you here with someone or are you just waiting for your messiah? She threw a drink in his face. For some reason I was expecting so. Do you come here often? This would have won me over. I actually used Street Pass on the Nintendo 3DS to hit on a girl in school. I had always noticed her from my programming class, and she always played her 3DS before and between classes. So I used the private message function to make her aware of my existence. It went something along the lines of Hi I'm X, I'm in programming. Next time we Street Pass she had responded with something like, Oh, I know. He he. Next time in class she invited me to her village in Animal Crossing. We've been dating for two and a half years. My friend and this girl were talking. Girl tells the guy his joke was shit, guy replies saying she looks like shit and immediately follows up with C, now we've both lied and we just look stupid. Back in my senior year my buddy got really I drunk at a club. Being the good friends that we are we naturally convinced him that hitting on the two beautiful girls at the other side of the club would be the greatest idea ever. He agreed and we told him that he should totally use this line, have you ever ridden the Oriental Express? Would you like to? We were both Asian. The drunk mother duck cur with a shit eating grin strolls up to the poor girls, grabbed both their hands and whispered into their ears. Both of them looked at each other in shock, then smiled and started talking to him. As the girl was whispering enthusiastically into his ear, my buddy puts a finger to her lips, turns around and walks back. Our jaws were on the floor. What happened? He just goes I got hungry, let's get some Mickey D's. The entire night we were like underscore. I was in high school and there was this substitute teacher that was downright gorgeous. Everything a teenage boy could dream for, like straight out of one of those pornos you watch. So she's subbing my class one day and she says, Uck I think I lost my phone, I can't find it. So quickly I go, oh what's your number I'll call it. 943 555 73, oh you think you're slick or something? I was so close. Needless to say I never had a chance, phone number or not. This was early, early in the morning in a mostly empty hub airport. What looked to be the entire Stanford women's tennis team was chilling out waiting for their connection. A guy was walking around with his little brother, and out of the blue smacks him on the back of the head, saying. Shut up. Tennis players are hella hot. All 30 or so of them started laughing. Well played dude, well played. I've seen a lot of one-liners fail in the past, but just a week ago I saw a 13-year-old boy pull one off flawlessly. There happened to be two sets of kids where I work, all about the same age, 11 to 13 years old. The girls had walked past where the boys were sitting to go to the restroom, obviously the girls going all together. On their way back a brave boy asked one of the girls to help him. Curious she asked how. He asked her what type of phone she had because his was broken and he didn't know how to fix it. 
So she went over and was looking at it and after not finding anything she asked what was wrong with it. It's broken because it doesn't have your number in it. The girl's dad happened to be passing by at the time and he was laughing so hard I thought he was going to put his daughter's number in the kid's phone for her. Was at a work function puffing on a cigarette. A girl I kind of knew saw me and said, jokingly, you know, smoking makes your sperm swim in circles. Then she went back to talking to her friends. A few minutes later I noticed that she, too, had lit up a cigarette. So I said to her, you know, smoking makes your sperm swim in circles. I don't have any sperm, she says. Want some? I reply. She laughed. I bet HR thought it was hilarious too. You coming then? And, they left. They dated for several months after. Best cut down while being hit upon. My best bud was heavily flirting with this girl in a bar who completely wasn't interested in him. After putting up with him for far too long, she suddenly spins around, looks him dead in the eyes and asks quite loudly, do you remember your first blowjob? Being completely surprised by the question and having a dozen sets of eyes on him in the bar, he timidly replies yes. She loudly asks, did you spit or swallow? Tail between his legs, he quietly got up from the bar stool, admitted defeat and crawled away in shame. Thanks for listening to another episode of Reddit X. Subscribe and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any stories. Feel free to share your own stories below in the comments. Have a good day.